Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Graduation season is here. And if you're a parent of a recent or soon to be grad, you'll appreciate this. Our financial expert, Janai Thornton, is here with money making tips and money tips for high school and college seniors. So grab your pen and paper and take notes. You don't want to miss us, I promise. Hello, Janai. Good morning. How Trina. are you? Good. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy to be back. I always look forward to you and your money saving tips for families Happy because to be it here. is so necessary, <laughs> especially now Grad in this season. It's graduation season right. for high schoolians and for our collegiate folks. So a lot of people have worked really hard to get here, right. uh, but the real work is just beginning. So what tips do you have for these recent grads? Okay, so for our college grads, one thing that I really want them to think about is having a plan on when they're gonna upgrade their life. Cause you know Ooh. when you graduate, you want a new apartment, you want a new car, you want new furniture. Um, all that equals new debt. Yeah. So I think we really need to have a plan on when is that gonna happen. The car mm -hmm. that you're driving doesn't mean you have to drive it forever. Right. But have a plan on when and how that can happen. The other thing that's really important right now is to don't forget about your student loans. Oh God. Yes. So for your private loans, you may have to start paying them right away, but for your federally backed loans, you may have up to six months, but know when that's gonna happen so you'll be prepared for that. Okay, so you know, a lot of these kids, you know, they're, they're finished school and they're like, okay, now I'm on my own. Right, right. You know, and, and we as parents, like, how do we know when it's time to cut those purse ties? Because my son is, I love you, son. <laughs> but I mean, we still have those purse strings going on. Right. And he's in his twin. Okay, so, you know, as parents, there's a difference between cutting them off and stepping them down. And oh, so what gosh. I suggest is, you know, maybe you make a commitment to pay their car, um, their car insurance for a year or two, or maybe their cell phone bill, but you need to have that conversation so you can actually be on the same page about that. So you want to know what that's going to look like, but again, cutting them off, I have kids probably about the same age as yours, mm -hmm. I'm at the cutoff stage right now. Yes, yes uh... definitely want to do that. But it's important our kids have to pay their bills on time, um, they have to protect their credit, and listen, mm -hmm. they've got to save, they got to save and they have got to save some more. You will never regret saving money. Okay, so when it comes to saving money, a lot, a lot of students when they get out of school, whether it's collegiate or high school, they get, you know, graduation gifts. And a right. lot of those gifts are monetary. Right. So how do we help them prepare for saving with that? Because some of them just kind of run through it. Oh, I'm done. It's, it's summertime. I'm going on vacation. But but how do we prepare them and like save a bit, spend a bit? And how, how do we teach them, you know, those, those tips? Um, what I like to tell people is spend it on paper first. And what that means is before you actually go online and order anything, before you go to the store, actually write it out what your plan is. Mm -hmm. So when you see it, then it becomes a commitment. Right. Then you're executing the plan versus just you look up and then all that money is gone. Oof. Yeah. Well, if, if you're lucky, sometimes when you're in college, you already have a job lined up for you. Right. Uh, but what about those who don't? And what about those high schoolians who are like, okay, I'm transitioning between high school and college. What do they do with, with that time in between? Okay. So for our college grads with no jobs, um, which is a huge issue now, I want to make sure that they're not just relying on applying online to find mm -hmm. jobs. Like you have got to get engaged. You're going to have to, this whole connecting personally is really mm -hmm. important. Um, another thing is, please, this is a perfect time to clean up your social media. Um, before any employer is ever going to contact you, they've already checked you out. Oh, wow. So we don't want to have any barriers in the way with the social media. Um, also, please stay in touch with your college professors and your career placement office. You know, the career placement, that's their responsibility to help you get connected and ultimately find employment as well. And last, be open to volunteering or interning. You Ooh, know, sometimes you've got to yeah. give a little to get a little. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of giving a little, <laughs> what financial advice would you give to those who don't have um, the college professors to lean on and, and to go back to? What advice would you give to those who are just kind of in that space where they just don't know what they're going to do next? Right. And, you know, what happens a lot of times is a lot of our kids are in school. They know what they study, but they didn't know what they were going to do mm -hmm. ultimately. So this is a perfect time to really do some research and use your connections, mm -hmm. use your family connections, use your friend connection. It's really about networking. We know a lot of times with employment, a lot of it is about who you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. huge. Yeah. And you mentioned so 
social media before, what what types of things should they not have on their social media when they're out looking for jobs? Right. You know, one thing too, just think about it. You, I want you to stand in the shoes if you're a young person. Stand in the shoes <laughs> of an employer <laughs> or or an adult. You know, if someone else would find it offensive, mm -hmm. you know, if someone else feels that you are not carrying yourself appropriately, yes. those are the things before someone ever talks to you, they're going to be judging you based on just scrolling through your timeline, seeing yeah. what you've been posting. Okay, and I, I can keep you here all day, but okay. I have this, this major question to ask you. You know, a sure. lot of times when you're getting out of college, we've all been there. Right. The first thing they want to do is give you a credit card. Right. So what do we tell these young people when they're approached with these credit card companies? They say, oh, you just graduated college, you're gonna need a credit card. Right. So what can they do to protect their credit? You know, there's really nothing wrong with the credit card, it's just how responsibly we use them. Mm -hmm. So whether you're a high school graduate or a college graduate, what I suggest to young people is, um, look into getting a secured credit card. Mm. And that simply means if you have a $500 or $1,000 spending limit, that you're gonna actually give the bank that $500 or $1,000. And that way, if you're ever late, um, you can't make a payment, they can just deduct from there. Ooh. Yeah, so that's a good way to build credit and also to be able to use credit responsibly. Well, let me ask you a question about that. Because yeah. there, there might be some that are irresponsible and right. what if they do have this secured credit card? And they're like, oh, okay, well, I don't have to worry about paying it monthly because they're just going to deduct it if I don't pay it. And, you know, and they kind of use it as a, like a line of credit as opposed to the credit card they're supposed to be using it for. Yeah. So and, how does that work? And that's it's definitely not used for that. Mm -hmm. So that is definitely going to have impact on your relationship with your credit card company, but also your credit score as well. Hello. It's not designed for that. It's for that emergency situation, but not the ongoing. And not emergency shoots. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not an emergency for sure. Yes, and I thank you so, so much for being back here again. You are always just a wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much.